In this video, we will show you how the iZettle integration works with the Business Toolkit. We also have some further FAQs which can be found in the links provided under this video. As the toolkit supports cash accounting, for each day that you have transactions that are processed through iZettle, whether those are payments taken by card, by cash, through invoices, or whether they're refunds or advanced down payments, the integration with Starling will automatically surface these as external transactions in the bookkeeping section of the toolkit. The toolkit will then group and summate the day's transactions based on the iZettle transaction type. For any sales, the toolkit will create external transactions per VAT rate per day. All of these external transactions will be marked as iZettle transactions in the bookkeeping element of the toolkit, and we recommended that these aren't deleted to ensure accurate bookkeeping. Clicking on one of these transactions here brings up more information on the transaction, including the category, the VAT rate, the taxable amount, and an attachment which contains a breakdown of the transactions in iZettle which are producing this external transaction in the bookkeeping element of the toolkit. This transaction has been generated as a result of the entire day's incoming transactions at a certain VAT rate, in this case 20%, based on the information from your sales in iZettle. This transaction has automatically been moved to the completed section of the bookkeeping, as we have captured any VAT, attached a record of the breakdown of the transaction, and automatically assigned a category. This attachment contains details on all of the sales that have been processed through iZettle, which are making up this external transaction in the toolkit. This external transaction here is made up of just a single transaction in iZettle, as you can see. If more products had been sold across multiple transactions at this particular VAT rate of 20% on this day, they would have all have been grouped here and detailed here for simpler bookkeeping. If we have a look now at some of the other incoming transactions on this date, we'll see that they have also been grouped by VAT rate and transaction type. We can see other external transactions created for sales at other VAT rates, here at 0%, also for sales of products at 5% VAT, as well as the other transaction that we showed before for sales at 20% VAT. You'll also notice this other external transaction, which is exempt from VAT, and this is for any tips received on this day. Tips will also be marked as revenue, but are tax exempt. Clicking on any of the transactions that have been created by this integration will display a transaction note, which will show you why the external transaction has been created. Another transaction you'll notice here is this transaction labelled iZettle Advance. iZettle Cash Advances are essentially an advance on your future sales. It gives you access to capital that can help you expand your business. iZettle will pay the decided amount to your bank account and then they take repayment from your future card sales. Every time you make a card transaction, iZettle will take a set percentage until the advance is paid off. The Starling iZettle integration will automatically detect when an advance payment is made to your bank account. We will automatically categorize this as loan principal in and out, as you can see here. We will get on to how the integration handles the fees and the down payments for the advance later on. You will see two more transactions at the top here, one marked as a transfer and one as admin. We'll get back to those shortly. Integrating your Starling account with iZettle doesn't only allow you to see the incoming iZettle transactions in Starling, but also any outgoings. The integration will account for any iZettle fees, advance down payments, or any refunds to customers by creating the same external transactions but in the outgoing section of the business toolkit. Let's have a look at the transactions created on the 5th again. For each day, the fees that are incurred by iZettle, we will create a transaction to represent these. The category for any fees from iZettle will be automatically set in the bookkeeping element of the toolkit as admin, and they're not subject to VAT. Similar to what we saw with the incoming transactions, if you click into the transaction for more detail, there'll be an attachment which summarizes the fees, therefore auto-completing the transaction and moving it to completed within the bookkeeping element of the toolkit. Any fees for taking card payments, invoice payments, or for your advance will be included here. If you have an advance through iZettle, then the down payments are handled separately to the rest of the fees. iZettle advances are paid back through down payments, 
So every time that you make a sale through iZettle, iZettle will take a set percentage of the advance until it's paid off. The iZettle Starling integration surfaces these down payments to you as external transactions. These are categorized, as you can see, as loan principal in and out. The iZettle Starling integration will also handle refunds. Similarly to what we've seen previously, the integration will automatically categorize these transactions. In this case, they'll be categorized as client refund. The VAT amount will be automatically set and we will attach a breakdown of the refunds on that day as an attachment here. Similarly to what we saw with the incoming transactions, all outgoing transactions and refunds will be grouped by VAT rate on each day. Refunds for products at different VAT rates will be grouped separately. When the product that is being refunded here was sold, fees would have been charged by iZettle. Therefore, when the product has been refunded, the fees will also be refunded. The integration will cater for this. If we head back to look at the incoming transactions, you'll see this external transaction here, which is a fee refund. This type of transaction will be created whenever there's a product refund to account for the refund of those fees. Let's put the iZettle account alongside Starling now so that we can see how iZettle lines up with your Starling bookkeeping. In the iZettle account, we can see the sales for the three different products that were sold on the 5th of October at three separate VAT rates. You can see how this information has been used in Starling to create these four external transactions marked as revenue. One for items sold at 0% VAT, in this case the babyware. One for the canned drinks sold at 5% VAT. And another for the skirt sold at a 20% VAT rate. You'll also see in iZettle that 5p of tips were given in this transaction and how these are represented in Starling. If we have a look at some of the other transactions on this date in iZettle, we see this refund. A product has been refunded for £1.25 at a 20% VAT rate. This is exactly what you can see here in Starling. The fees charged for both the sale and refunded for the refund are also shown here in iZettle and we have discussed how these will be represented in Starling and categorised as admin. You can see here how information from iZettle is used and how the iZettle integration aims to break down all elements of the activity in iZettle and make it simpler to keep your books with Starling. After iZettle have taken their fees, iZettle will send the money for your sales to your bank account. As we've shown, the iZettle integration takes each day's incoming and outgoing iZettle transactions and automatically populates the bookkeeping section of the toolkit, despite the money not currently having reached your Starling account. Therefore, when you are paid, the integration needs to handle that payment. The integration will mark the payment from iZettle as a transfer and categorize it as so. This is done to avoid double counting revenue. Please note that any payouts you receive from iZettle will be marked in Starling as PayPal PTE Limited. Let's have a look at a payout from iZettle. The Starling iZettle integration will automatically recognize when a payment coming into the account is a payout from iZettle. Usually payments into the account are categorized as revenue. However, when we detect this transaction, to avoid double counting the revenue, the payment will be categorized as a transfer we've already accounted for the revenue through the external transactions that have been created each day. It's important, therefore, not to recategorize these payout transactions. An important point to be aware of when making use of this integration is how it is built to handle cash sales. Any cash sales recorded in iZettle will be included in the daily created external transactions for revenue that are created by this integration. We would therefore remind you that if you deposit cash that has been recorded as sales in iZettle, you should categorize the cash deposit as a transfer to avoid double counting the revenue. The integration will not do this automatically. Here's a summary of what the integration will do. Sales at various VAT rates will be automatically categorized as revenue and grouped daily and by VAT rate. Tips are also categorised as revenue, but without a VAT rate. Payouts that are received from iZettle will be categorised as transfers to avoid double counting the revenue. An advance from iZettle will be automatically classed as loan principal. 
Fees taken for sales and for an ISETL advance will be categorised as admin. Refunds will be categorised as client refund and down payments on an ISETL advance will be categorised as loan principal. Other transaction types and how they are handled and categorised can be found in our FAQs.